I've always been interested in real world problems. When I ran into my first computer, I thought, wow. I'd seen factories and things. Those machines, they had no ability to change. They had no ability, in short, to think. That was the missing element. I had to write a couple of programs and I could see the possibilities. You could do anything with a computer. I was convinced that computers would really change the world. If you have time for a story, I'll tell you why. In the late 60s, the grocery industry decided to begin to think about putting scanners in grocery stores. The task was fairly daunting. First, it was to pick a symbology. Some of the symbologies were round circles. Some of the symbologies were half of a round circle. And one of the symbologies was a linear barcode submitted by IBM. All interested parties who would propose the symbol were invited to come and make a presentation to the committee in private for about 20 minutes. Toward the end of these, it was IBM's turn. The door opened and if I recall right, three people came in. One was a very unique IBM individual. He didn't look to me like the kind of IBM people that I had been associated with. If I recall right, his suit may have been brown but he did one of the most incredible jobs you will have ever seen. He had his mind around the economics, he had his mind around the symbology, and then he did something very unique. He said, now you probably have a question about how we're going to do this. And he reached in his pocket and he pulled out a disc. It was one of the early silicon wafers and he said, this is the basis of our new computing power. What we're going to do is put a computer into every check stand. And as IBM walked out and the door closed, the chairman of the symbol selection subcommittee said, my God, they've got it. We announced the IBM supermarket system on October 11th, 1973. And we had this great trick. We, there were no source marked products. There was nothing where the grocery manufacturer had put a, a symbol on that we had. But we had a Cam A bar with an adhesive label we could put on this thing. And we would stand at the far end of the check stand from where the checker is, and we could throw that Cam A bar. And when it would cross the little scanning window, the register would go chunk, and the audience would go, my God. And now barcodes are everywhere. We had no idea how far this was going. We changed the way the world shopped. <laughs> 